大家好，欢迎你回到 C J 一一三的频道，我是高老师。今天我们要开始学第四课。第四课说什么？爱好，跟我说，爱好，爱好。Hey everybody, this is Gao Lao Shi, and today we're gonna begin studying Lesson Four, Dialogue One, which is all about hobbies, or in Chinese, ai hao. As always, if you follow along with this video and do what it asks you to do, you will be able to accomplish the following learning objectives. Number one, you'll be able to understand and pronounce using correct tones. All of the assigned vocab words from Lesson Four, Dialogue One. Number two, you'll be able to read and fully comprehend the first half of Lesson Four, Dialogue One, all on your own. Number three, you should have a basic understanding of the dialogue's main grammar point, and there's one that we will focus on here in this pre-class video. And number four, you should be able to read and write all of the characters from Lesson Four, Dialogue One, for our next classes in Class Quiz. 准备好了吗？好的，我们开始吧。Let's begin preparing for the next class session. How we always do by first listening to the audio of our new vocab words. To follow along in the textbook, please do see page one hundred and four. And remember, when you hear the speaker pronounce these words, please try your best to mimic their pronunciation out loud. Lesson four, dialogue one. Vocabulary. One. 周末 Weekend. Two. 打球 To play ball. 打 To hit. 球 Ball. Three. To watch, to look, to read. Four. Television. Electricity. Vision. Five. 唱歌 To sing a song. 唱 To sing. 歌 Song. Six. 跳舞 To dance. 跳 To jump. Dance. Seven. 听 To listen. Eight. 音乐 Music. Nine. 书 Book. Ten. Right. Correct. Please go back now and listen to this audio at least two to three more times, repeating out loud what you hear. There are a lot of new vocab words about hobbies in this part of the lesson, so let's spend a little bit of time here practicing them. See if you can match the word on the left hand side of the screen with its corresponding image on the right. You may want to pause the video here because I'm about to give away the answers. 第一，打球，打球 ，A。第二，唱歌，唱歌 ，D。第三，跳舞，跳舞。F. 第四，看电视
看电视。C. 第五，听音乐。听音乐。B. 第六，看书。看书。E. Let's also spend a few seconds reviewing some of the time words we learned in Lesson Three. Today, Chinese 怎么说？今天，今天。Tomorrow, Chinese 怎么说？明天，明天。Weekend, Chinese 怎么说？周末。周末 and how would you say this weekend? You could say, 这个周末，这个周末 Now that we feel comfortable with our new vocab words, let's move on to listen to the dialogue from Lesson Four, Dialogue One. And if you'd like to follow along in your textbook, please turn to page one hundred and two. Lesson Four. Dialogue One, talking about hobbies. 白英爱，你周末喜欢做什么？我喜欢打球，看电视。你呢？我喜欢唱歌。跳舞，还喜欢听音乐。你也喜欢看书，对不对？对，有的时候也喜欢看书。Please go back now and listen to this audio at least two more times, just to make sure you can fully understand what both speakers are saying. Now that we've listened to the audio of our new vocab words and listened to that portion of the dialogue from Lesson Four, Dialogue One, it's time to start reviewing all of those new vocabulary words. And one of the best methods to use is flashcards. So to begin using the free flashcards in Quizlet, just scan the QR code here on your screen or click on the link below in the description section of the video. The main grammar point we're going to focus on today is word order. And I've already mentioned this in pre-class videos, but what makes Chinese easier to learn for English speakers is that the word order is almost identical. Chinese is a subject-verb-object language, much like English. So let's look at how this manifests itself in the textbook dialogue. So we'll look at the first sentence here. The character Gao Wenzhong, he says this to Bai Yingai. Bai Yingai, 你周末喜欢做什么？ So let's look at this word order pattern in a little bit more detail. So as I just mentioned, the basic word order in Chinese is subject, verb, object. If you have a time phrase, the time phrase either goes after the subject or before the subject. But time phrases always go towards the beginning of the sentence. So here's an example down below. 我周末喜欢看电视 so that last character 是 should be part of the 电 underneath the object box. So 我 being the subject, 周末 the time, the weekend. What do they do, or what do I do? 喜欢 I like to 看 to watch 电视 TV. So just pay attention to time phrases or to dates. Because one thing to remember is that they're either placed before or directly after the subject, so you'll never put the time word at the end of the sentence, which is what we like to do in English. Let's test your knowledge. How would you rearrange these characters to form a grammatically correct sentence in Chinese? You would want to start with the subject 我 followed by the time, and here it's tonight 今天晚上 followed by the verb 吃
and then the object of that verb. What are you going to eat? You're going to eat Chinese food. Zhongguo cai. Dui bu dui. Dui bu dui. Wo xi huan kan shu zhou mo. So in English we say, I like to read books on the weekend. Can we say that in Chinese? Bu dui. Don't forget, time words either come before or after the subject. So the correct way to say this would be Zhou Mo, Wo Xi Huan Kan Shu. Let's look at another example. Please try to rearrange these characters to form a grammatically correct sentence. We would start with our subject, Wang Peng, followed by the time, Zhou Mo, and then the verb, Xi Huan, and finally the object, Chang Ge. Wang Peng Zhou Mo, Xi Huan Chang Ge. 好, 我们来练习. So please take some time here to rearrange the following words to form grammatically correct sentences. Let's start with number one. So we'll start with the subject, followed by the time word, followed by the verb, and then followed by the object. So our subject is ta, he, him, ta, time word, jin tian wan shang, tonight, chi, verb, zhong guo fan, Chinese food. What about number two? Again, we'll start with the subject, ni, followed by the time word, zhou mo, verb, ting, object, yin yue, and we have a question particle here, ma, and the question particle ma, as you should know, always goes at the end of a sentence. Let's look at number three. So again, start with your subject, which is wa, I, followed by your time phrase, which is jin tian wan shang, tonight. Oh, and we also have a, a, a time here, ba dian. So subject, time phrase, it's a very long time phrase, jin tian wan shang, ba dian. And then our verb, or here it's actually an adjective, which in Chinese is a stated verb, bu mang, not busy. Right? I am not busy tonight. So that's your basic word order in Chinese. Of course, sentences are going to get much more complex as we progress in our studies of Chinese. But it's always important to bear in mind that the basic structure is subject, time word, verb, object. And for additional explanations and examples of this grammar point, please do turn to page 106 in your integrated Chinese textbook. So now that we've listened to the audio several times for the vocab words and dialogue and have a, a pretty good understanding of the main grammar points, it's time now to practice writing the assigned characters for next class's dictation quiz. And before I show you the animated character strokes, I want to remind you all that you can find grid paper to practice writing characters in Canvas when you click on the Modules tab. And the grid paper can serve as a very, very helpful guideline, ensuring that your characters are uniform in size and aesthetically pleasing. So let's go ahead and look at the 10 vocab words that you'll need to know for next class's dictation quiz. So once you've got a basic understanding of this grammar point, you feel comfortable pronouncing all of the assigned vocab words with the correct tone, and you can read the dialogue by yourself, it's time to start practicing writing the characters. So our first vocab word, Jo Mo, Jo Mo, meaning weekend. Da Chiu, Da Chiu, meaning to play ball. Kan. Meaning to watch, to look, 
or to read. And here, I want to draw your attention to the first stroke. Notice how it starts on the right and goes to the left. All the other strokes are left to right. Dian shi. Dian shi. Television. Chang ge. Chang ge. Meaning to sing. Tiao wu. Tiao wu. Meaning to dance. Ting. Ting. Meaning to listen. Yin yue. Yin yue. Meaning music. Shu Shu meaning book. And if you want to say read book, you could say Kan Shu Kan Shu And finally Dui Dui meaning right or correct. Now if you wanted to say incorrect, you simply add a bu in front of it. Bu dui would be incorrect. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Pronunciation is one of the hardest parts of learning Chinese. Lucky for you, though, there are a lot and lot of excellent resources out there that can really help you improve your pronunciation. The one I want to share with you today was created by Pomona College in California. All you have to do here is scan the QR code or click on the link in the description. And finally, once you feel comfortable with the vocab words, characters, and grammar points from the first part of Lesson 4 Dialogue 1, don't forget to take the pre-class practice quiz in Canvas before our next class session. 好的,谢谢大家,下次见,再见。